Hello and welcome to another retrospective video of an iconic adventure game. Today's topic is Labyrinth the video game, the first ever adventure game to be developed by Lucasfilm Games and the first licensed video game to be developed by the company. It was based on Jim Henson's movie with the same title but took its own direction in story and setting. It may look primitive today, but it had a huge impact on the future of the company because it established some key figures of the industry and it paved the way for Lucasfilm Games' signature engine Scam, which deviated from the text parsers that were the standard for the adventure games of the time. Labyrinth the Computer Game is a 1986 graphic adventure game developed by Lucasfilm Games and published by Activision for the Commodore 64 and Apple II. The game's story was loosely based on the Labyrinth movie. The story begins by showing the protagonist going to a movie theater to watch the film. Jared, the villain, appears on the projection screen transporting the protagonist to a maze-like prison resembling the one from the movie. The goal is to reach and destroy Jared. There is a time limit of actual 13 hours that this has to take place, otherwise the player will be trapped in the labyrinth forever. The game plays from a third-person perspective. The sex and name of the protagonist is determined by the player when starting a new game. To traverse the maze, the player passes through a series of scrolling hallways. There, he may find traps, doors, items or enemies. A radar is also shown below the action part of the screen showing important objects or enemies the player may encounter. Contrary to the norm of the adventure games of the time, Labyrinth does not use a text parser. Instead, there are two word wheels, the first containing verbs and the second nouns. The player can select a verb from the first and a noun from the second in order to perform an action. For example, he can choose open from the verb wheel and door from the noun one to open a door. Options are limited depending on the screen the player is in and the available characters or items. Lucasfilm Games began development of the game one year prior to its release when George Lucas requested a tie-in game for the upcoming Jim Henson movie. The project was led by David Fox who viewed an early cut of the movie. He considered it an adventure film and believed the ideal genre for the game to be a graphical adventure. Fox visited the author Douglas Adams, famous for the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, in London to brainstorm ideas for the game. He returned to the United States with a large number of notes that he eventually transformed into the Labyrinth game. David Fox loved adventures but disliked the text parsers and the guessing they including on the player part. They chose the word wheels to replace that user interface in order to streamline the game. That had a great influence on another artist of the game, Gary Winnick, who later on co-designed Maniac Mansion along with Ron Gilbert. The scam engine that was initially developed for Maniac Mansion was loosely based on the Labyrinth's user interface. The game was received positively by fans and critics, praising its graphics, story and the revolutionary for the time user interface. It went on to become a commercial success much bigger than the movie which flopped in the box office. That was the full history of Labyrinth, the first ever Lucasfilm Games adventure that established the studio among the genre's fans. It was critically and commercially acclaimed, while its mechanics and technology had a major influence on the company's next game, Maniac Mansion. The later standard user interface for the company's adventure games, the Scam Engine, was inspired by the Labyrinth World Wheels. David Fox and Gary Winnick cut their teeth on Labyrinth and then went on to participate in other successful games like Zack McCracken and the Alien Man Benders and Loom. Do not forget to watch my many retrospectives on iconic franchises like Loom, King's Quest, Space Quest, Gabriel Knight and more. You can also find my two-hour documentary on the rise and fall of the genre. If you like the content of my channel, please consider supporting it by subscribing and turning on the notifications for it to know when a new video is up. You can also consider supporting me by becoming a member of my YouTube channel. There is one membership tier and you will have a lot of benefits like exclusive updates on upcoming videos, you get to watch each new video earlier, you get to decide the topic of upcoming videos and also member exclusive giveaways that will follow. We will have the next adventure game video soon. Thank you all for watching.